The seamless transition from the shoreline to the pier here at Vancouver Landing in southwest Washington hides complexity at the core of this new public space. As landscape architects, Greenworks led a design team that included engineering, permitting, and construction experts who all worked with the Port of Vancouver to redevelop a historic pier into a public space with plazas, seating areas, boardwalks, stormwater gardens, and trails. Public space connects people to each other, providing a place to meet or relax and to just be. Here at Terminal 1, the beauty of the space is made possible through complex design and construction work, visible just beneath the surface. In 2018, we created a virtual environment of the design to help officials and the public imagine what the spaces could someday become. Those images helped to promote Vancouver Landing, even being shown to the Washington State Legislature to secure funding for the project. The 10.7 acre site was Vancouver's first shipping facility, and it has a rich history of commerce and trade in Washington. It was also a site for shipbuilding during World War I. The team worked with the port to complete seismic and structural upgrades to the pier, modifications of the existing structure to support the weight of future seating, decking, soil, and site amenities. The project had high sustainability metrics, employing green roofs, habitat restoration, green infrastructure, water harvesting, and efficient irrigation all helping to meet requirements for LEED Neighborhood Development Certification. The Greenworks interdisciplinary team included KPFF for Structural and Civil Engineering, WSP for Environmental Permitting, and RNW Engineering for Lighting Design and Electrical Engineering. We need everybody's help. We're going to do a five-pound... Uh, five we need that boat to come back. He's supposed to be in the shot. <laughs> With the successful completion of the first phase, the site is continuing to expand, with new office space coming soon. Reconstruction of the rest of the dock, creation of a public market, and central square will continue to make the Port of Vancouver's vision a reality. <laughs>